And now we use the spherical coordinates to evaluate triple integrals. Uh, sometimes uh, it's much easier to use spherical coordinates to evaluate triple integrals. Uh, first, we define what is the, uh, the spherical coordinates. In the rectangular coordinates, the point has coordinate x, y, z. And now we use a new coordinates system that is rho uh, phi theta to determine this, uh, this point. And what is rho and what is phi and what is theta? The rho the rho is the distance from the origin to this point. We call this point as P. The distance that or the, the length of OP. And the phi is the angle between Uh, between OP and OC. That is uh, the angle between um, OP and Z axis. This is phi. Uh, so the phi is greater, uh, greater than zero, less than pi. The, the maximum value for phi is pi. The minimum is zero. When the p is on the lecture, uh, the axis is, is pi. If p is this point, we use this, this angle. So the uh, phi is the never bigger than pi. We also uh, we all we also know that that the angle between two vectors are never bigger than pi, and the theta theta that is we project op to x y plane to x y plane, and we call this point as p prime. Then the theta is OP prime. The angle between OP prime and uh, x axis. P prime. P prime. OP prime. Uh, this is right angle. The theta is the angle between. OP prime and OX. So the theta is bigger than zero, less than two pi. And the theta is uh, something like uh, this, or uh, the same definition with polar coordinates or in cylindrical coordinates. That's spherical coordinates. And the relation between rectangular coordinates and uh, spherical coordinates is x equals rho sine phi cosine theta, y equals rho sine phi sine theta, and uh, z equals rho cosine phi. Because this one, this the length of this part is rho times cosine phi because uh, this line is the adjacent adjacent side for phi and uh, this line op prime is rho times sine phi so x is rho this part is rho sine phi 
So x is rho sine phi times cosine theta, and y is rho sine phi times sine theta. And uh, x squared plus y squared plus z squared is rho squared. So this is the, uh, the key row for the spherical coordinates. This plays the uh, important role. And uh, for computation, first we need to find the element, uh, the volume element, uh, element. The volume element is we first we uh, subdivide the region by rho equals constant. Uh, phi equals constant and uh, theta equals constant to subdivide the region. The rho equals constant that is a sphere. So it's like the different the rho, the rho equals constant actually is the actually is the axis is the rho equals constant is part of sphere and there's uh, another So the uh, after we use rho equals constant, phi equals constant. Actually, we can get this part. Now we draw a graph here. There, the rho equals constant from here. That's rho equals constant. This is rho equals constant. That's part of the sphere. It's a small another constant. Another constant. Small constant. Then this part, this part is d rho. When uh, this is d rho, and this part, and this part, this part is d phi. This part is d phi, and uh, we, if we draw this part, this is d theta. This part is d theta. So the d, uh, we we can uh, approximate the volume of this small part, small box. Uh, use the rectangle. So the dv almost uh, this line and this line is the base and this is the height. This is the height and this line uh, is d phi. Is this uh, this is uh, arc uh, it is a uh, arc of uh, uh, our circle. So this uh, this line is actually the the radius. But this line, oh, this part is d theta. Is this part d theta? So this line, this line actually is rho. 
uh, this line is rho uh, times this line is rho times uh, from here rho uh, sin phi because this is a phi this is a phi equals constant rho sin phi and this line this line is rho sin is the radius times the angle so it is rho sin phi times d theta and this line Okay, this line is d, and that this line is rho, this line, this line is rho times, rho times d phi. So the base, the, we can write it as the base error times d rho. The base is this line. This line is rho sine phi d theta. Okay, that's just, this is just rho sine phi. Okay, this line. This line is rho sine phi. So the base the base uh, the error of the base that is rho sin phi times d theta times uh, the other line is rho d phi and then times is h that is d rho so the dv is almost rho square sin phi uh, d rho d phi d theta so the dv is the uh, volume elements element is rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta and the computation The v f x y c d v can be write as v f x uh, use the rho cosine uh, rho sine phi cosine theta y is rho sine phi sine theta z is rho cosine phi and uh, dv is rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta and how to find the upper limit and the lower limit rho phi theta We, we use the rave start from the origin the the outer the outer surface maybe we can write as a rho uh, equals rho 2 uh, theta and a phi and the uh, inner surface is rho equals rho 1 theta phi is uh, rho is uh, as in the dependent variable and theta phi as an independent variable for the surface. First, we find the upper limit and lower limit for the rho. And we draw the uh, we draw a wave start from the rho region and uh, and cross the region. Then we get the upper limit and the lower limit for rho. That's rho two uh, theta phi. 
row one theta phi and then we find the phi the phi is the if this ray we can view this ray can uh, swipe for the for, from the origin the least the least angle between uh, this ray and uh, the axis is is phi one is phi one and the biggest phi is phi two the biggest angle between the axis is phi two so uh, phi is from phi one to phi two and theta from theta one to theta two. Uh, for theta, we need to project the the project projection to the whole region to x y axis. So the least theta is theta one. The biggest theta is theta two. Then the triple integral f x y z d v can be write as theta from theta 1 to theta 2 phi, phi is from phi 1 to phi 2 and the row is from row 1 theta phi to row 2 theta phi and f row sine phi cosine theta row sine phi sine theta and the rho cosine phi and then times rho uh, rho sines rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta uh, so, sorry to uh, here uh, here is sine theta it's a typo uh, that's the triple integral in spherical coordinate. Now let's uh, take some examples. First example, uh, evaluate the triple integral e of x square plus y square plus z square of power 3 over 2 d v where v is the interior is the interior of x square plus y square plus z square equals one that actually is a ball the solution is uh, the x square plus y square plus z square is the ball by the definition of um, spherical coordinate then v can be write as rho uh, phi theta the theta if we project project uh, the whole sphere to the x y plane is a circle x square plus y square equals one so theta is from zero to two pi because theta is the uh, angle between x-axis and the uh, ray so the ray if we draw a ray from the origin so the theta the least theta is uh, least theta is zero and uh, after we uh, uh, swipe this ray uh, of to the two pi then it's good to here so the biggest uh, theta is 2 pi 
and the phi is from 0 to pi because the uh, the smallest smallest angle smallest angle is 0 the phi is the angle between the ray between the ray and the z axis that's the phi and the biggest phi is here so phi is from 0 to 2, to pi and the rho is between 0 and uh, 1 the small, smallest zero, uh, smallest row is the origin, and the biggest row is at the sphere. The sphere is rho equals one. So it's the, this triple integral becomes very simple. Use use the spherical coordinates. So the integral x square plus y square plus z square and power. 3 over 2 dv becomes theta from 0 to 2 pi. Phi is from 0 to pi and rho is from 0 to 1. And x square plus y square plus z square equals rho square here. So x square plus y square plus z square is rho square and uh, the power 3 over 2, so that is rho cube. And the dv is rho square sine phi. Now, then d rho d phi d theta. Use the u substitution 0 to 2 pi, 0 to pi. We use the substitution. Uh, the rho, rho cube, we let u equals rho cube, then rho square d rho, that is one third, that is one third, we let u equals rho cube, then du, that is 3u square d rho, uh, so that is uh, 0 to 1 e of u times 1 third du then sine phi d phi d theta 0 to 2 pi as 1 third 0 to pi e of u from 0 to 1 and then times sine phi uh, d phi d theta then equals one third zero to two pi zero to pi e times sine phi d phi d theta equals one third 0 to uh, 1 third e, we write e here, and 0 to 2 pi, integration, integration for sine phi, that is negative cosine phi, from 0 to pi, then d theta, that is e over 3, negative cosine phi, Cosine pi equals negative 1, so that is 2, here is 2, then times 2 pi, that is um, 4 e pi over 3. That's the first example. Let's see the second example. A value h, the triple integral, square root x square plus y square plus z square dv, where v is enclosed 
by the surface x square plus y square plus z square equals z. And what is the graph for this region? The x square plus y square plus z square equals z. We can write as x square plus y square plus z square minus z equals zero. We use completed square for z. That is x square plus y square plus z minus one half square. Then minus one fourth because in the completed square, there, there should be at one fourth. So the solution is x square plus y square plus z minus one half square equals one fourth. So it's a sphere. The center is zero zero. On half. So how to determine the upper limit and the lower limit for R, rho, and C, uh, for rho, theta, and phi? The rho, uh, phi, theta. We draw the ray from the from the origin and across the region then we know that the the least the least angle is actually parallel to the z axis so the phi the phi is between 0 and the last phi is at x y Plan. x y plane there is uh, any vector on the x y plane has angle with z axis is pi over 2 and uh, the theta the sphere projected projected to the projects to the x y plane is actually is a circle this circle is x square plus y square equals one fourth. So the uh, theta includes the origin, so it's from zero to two pi. The least angle between x axis and uh, this ray, is the least angle is zero, and the largest angle is two pi. And what is the rho maybe is the most difficult difficult part is for the rho and how to determine the rho we uh, come back to the equation of the surface x square plus y square plus z square equals z uh, and use the rela relation x equals Use the relation x equals r uh, sine phi cosine theta, y equals r sine phi sine theta, and z equals r cosine phi. And x square plus y square plus z square equals rho square. So the left hand side is rho square. The right hand side z is oh, here is rho. The rho rho square. Left hand side is rho square. Right hand side is rho cosine phi. That means the sphere has the uh, equation that is rho equals cosine phi so the rho 
has a lower limit zero and upper limit cosine phi. And then the triple integral square root x square plus y square plus z square dv. The theta is from zero to two pi and phi is from 0 to pi, rho is from 0 to cosine phi. And square root x square plus y square plus z square is square root of rho square, so that is rho, and dv is rho square sine phi d rho d phi d theta. And hence 0 to 2 pi 0 to pi, the, there is rho q, that is a one fourth rho of 4 from 0 to cosine phi. Then d phi d theta, that is a one fourth from 0 to 2 pi, 0 to pi, that's cosine phi of 4 d phi d theta. And then we use the uh, trigonometric identity that is cosine square phi that is 1 plus cosine 2 phi over 2. That is the 1 fourth 0 to 2 pi. That is uh, 1 plus cosine 2 phi. That's cosine 2 phi here. Square d phi oh, 0 to pi d theta. Zero to pi. That's one fourth one plus two cosine two phi plus uh, cosine two phi square. Then d phi. That is one over sixteen. Zero to two pi. Uh, 0 to pi, 1 plus 2 cosine 2 phi plus cosine square 2 phi d phi, now uh, there is d theta here. Uh, here, use the double integral, or use, use the, this uh, identity again. That is 1 over 16, 0 to 2 pi, 0 to pi, 1 plus 2 cosine 2 phi, plus 1 half, 1 plus cosine 4 phi. D phi d theta zero to two pi that is phi this one is phi uh, here plus uh, sine two phi plus one half phi plus one over eight sine or phi from 0 to pi then d theta uh, there is no theta in the integrands so we can write as 2 pi here because all this part is a constant uh, in terms of uh, in terms of theta. Okay, so uh, we put pi and zero into the 
and in the function that is pi uh, sine 2 pi is 0 plus pi over 2 sine 4 pi is 0 uh, 0 inserts to the function this is 0 sine 0 is 0 uh, 1 over 2 0 and sine 0 is 0 so that is 3 pi over 16 that's the uh, triple integral in spherical coordinate